Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. My name is Muskan Ena, and I'm the student of Yasin English School, Bethindi Jammu. And my question is, what resources or research papers do you recommend to students who want to dive deeply into advantage physics topics? Uh, for someone who wants to dive deep into physics topics regarding the research papers or whatever resources. Now here, if you look at it, say there are lots of new researches being made. Like I told you of the theory of everything or the unified field theory. Actually, there is right now a theory in physics that we can say a candidate for being the theory of everything. What you call the string theory, or rather a more complete version of the string theory, that is what you call the M theory. Now, what it says is that matter is not made up of point particles as the electrons or protons or neutrons or quarks that you have. It is fundamentally made of vibrating strings. You have a string over here, it vibrates. It vibrates in this matter, then this manner, then you have a proton. It vibrates in this matter, then you have an electron. It vibrates in another manner, it, then you have a neutron. So due to the different modes of vibration, different kinds of vibration, you have these all these particles. How do you understand the string theory? By reading more textbooks on string theory. That is what you can do. But a more advanced and more appropriate is uh, basically uh, approach to understand, uh, understanding string theory would be to read more research papers on string theories. Now the question is, what research papers should you read on string theory? When you dive deep into the field of research, then I recommend that whatever topic you are choosing, let's say you want to master string theory and you want to contribute in string theory, try to read every single research paper that is out there available on string theory. And I know, of course, it is not possible to read every single research paper on string theory. But you, what you can at least do is list out major professors from big universities, take their names and read their research papers on the particular subject. So if you have any particular subject, what you do is a great physicist, any physicist who has actually contributed a lot in physical sciences and whose opinions hold a lot of weight in physical sciences in the scientific community right now. So you should read their research papers. And when you read those research papers, you'll develop a more understanding of that particular physical concept. And by reading a lot of research papers, only can you basically understand what is up happening around here. As a certain person once said, that when you copy from one book, it's plagiarism. But when you copy from a hundred of them, then it's research. So research is basically being able to fit together a lot of different opinions into one single theory. That is what you need to do.